Apple calls this iPhone 17 Pro a professional camera system in your pocket. They say you can handle low light, capture incredible detail and shoot like a pro. But there's a difference between marketing and reality and actually capturing the Milky Way. I've spent years shooting the night sky on my pro level Nikon Z62 camera and it's specifically built for my astrophotography needs. And tonight, I wanna to see just how close this little iPhone 17 Pro can get to my Nikon Z62 camera. We're not gonna call this a battle, we're just gonna compare it just to see how close it can actually get. So there's no paid promotions, there's no brand deals, it's just me, the gear, and the dark sky. I'm not expecting the iPhone 17 Pro to replace a full frame camera, but if Apple's claims hold up, it might actually surprise a few people. What we're gonna do, we're gonna jump in the car, we're heading out to a dark sky location. I've actually taken you there before, if you've been watching my channel for a while, there should be some clear skies, and it'll be a perfect location to put both the cameras to the test, the iPhone 17 Pro and the Nikon Z62 camera. Let's just see how they compare against each other. So let's jump in the car and head out there now. We're here, and for those of you that have watched my channel for quite some time now, may recognize the building in the background here. But tonight, we're gonna to be doing something just a little bit different. I'm gonna be comparing my new iPhone 17 against my Nikon Z62 for astrophotography. Now, Apple claim that the iPhone 17 has a really good night photography mode. The symbol on the phone has a picture of stars and moon, so um, we're going to actually see whether it's any good for astrophotography. Phone versus pro rig. How close can a little phone actually get to a big pro rig like the Nikon Z62 camera? On one side, we've got this iPhone 17 Pro with built-in automatic functions and algorithms to get good night sky shots with a maximum shutter speed of 30 seconds. And on the other side, we've got the Nikon Z62 Astro Beast with the Nikon 20mm f1.8 lens. So this is not gonna be a battle against both of the cameras. It would just be an unfair battle. But what it's gonna do is just gonna show you what you can capture on your iPhone 17 compared to a $3,000 camera. So the plan will be that we'll fire off both the iPhone 17 and the Nikon Z62 at the same time, shooting in the same direction behind me over here, the Milky Way cores just up over here, and we'll see what we get and compare the two. So first up, I'll be shooting with the iPhone 17. We'll be shooting in single frames, we won't be stacking, it's going to be a 30 second exposure shooting off in the distance um, towards the core. If you're trying this yourself, make sure you use a solid tripod that doesn't have any movement so you can get the full 30 second exposure. If it's going to be handheld, it will only allow for 10 seconds. The iPhone is actually quite simple compared to my Nikon Z6 camera. There's no real settings to set. It's just a matter of making sure we select night mode, putting it on a sturdy tripod and pushing the shoot button. So how easy is that? 
So let's see how much it can actually really capture. Now let's set up my big rig here. This is my Sirius Nightscape photography camera and it's got a Nikon 20mm f1.8 lens on it. I'll be shooting my first exposure at 20 seconds and um, I'll use a ISO of around 3200. Look, I'm uh, quite surprised with the results of the iPhone 17. Actually, uh, it's taken me back a little bit that this phone has been able to capture the detail in the sky and the dust lanes. Yeah, it's a little bit noisy, it's a bit soft, but for an out of your pocket camera to shoot the Milky Way core like that, that's it's pretty impressive. So um, now we've had a look at that, Let's check out the results of the Nikon Z62. And now for the uh, results here, and yeah, wow, it's like stepping into another world. The Nikon Z6 is definitely, and check out the, the shooting stars here. I'll chuck this up on the screen. That's actually a pretty impressive shot for a uh, single exposure. But the core and the detail, yes, it's not, it could be classed as a bit of an unfair battle between the iPhone 17 and the Nikon Z six but just remember we're not battling here it's just to compare the two so you know what a camera straight out of your pocket can take so the iphone 17 is very very impressive all right we've seen the comparison and this is why i love doing this kind of uh, testing i love comparing things against other cameras especially a um, iphone 17 against the nikon astro beast and remember it's not about proving which one is better out of the two. It's to show you how far things have actually come with the, with the iPhone 17. So it's pretty impressive. If you remember our old phones and the cameras are very pixelated to a iPhone 17 that comes straight out your pocket that can actually capture the Milky Way core. Now guys, that proves it. If all you got is an iPhone, then you can still make something really, really magical when it comes to your images of the night sky. But remember, if you invest in your gear, the sky will open up to you even more. That's the beauty of nightscape photography. So here's the takeaway. The iPhone 17 can certainly capture the Milky Way core with ease. And yes, the image is a little bit soft and it might be a little bit noisy, but for beginners or someone that doesn't have a expensive $3,000 camera or more, then this is a perfect option. But what's so wild is an iPhone 17 can get pretty close to a $3,000 camera. The Nikon Z6 II still wipes the floor as far as sharpness, detail, noise, and all of the above, which is to be expected. It's amazing how accessible astrophotography is now to beginners. So what did you think? Would you start shooting the stars with your phone. I'll drop some links to both setups below and I'll also put in some basic astrophotography guidelines if you want to try this yourself. And don't forget if you're new here hit that subscribe button. I've got a heap more astrophotography adventures coming up but thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.